I can't believe I have this problem with my Toyota Tacoma. Are you kidding me? Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motors. And that's right, I can't believe this has happened to my Toyota Tacoma. You know, what I'm talking about is a rub. We're going to take a look at it. You know, I've been talking about the setup I have on this truck, touting its praises for quite a long time now. Got back from my trip to Ohio, backed it out of the driveway a couple of times, a few times, and discovered there's a little... And I'm like, are you kidding me? I never had this problem before. So I thought, first off, we're going to run around. We're going to measure all the corners, see if I still have the same height. Have I dropped some? Is that what's causing my rub? So let's grab the tape measure and then we're gonna turn the wheel, take a look at the tire. I'll show you where it is. It is visible. And, uh, and then we're gonna see what I'm gonna do about it, I guess. So let's do some measuring. Okay, we're gonna start back here in the rear and this is just gonna be a quick measure. It's not gonna be exact. But if I recall, it should be about 36 and a half inches or so all the way around. And I'm measuring just from the floor, which is level, right up to about the center of the fender well or so. Again, not exact, but it is the way I did it before. So let's take a look on this one. And if you look at the lip right there, it's right about dead on 36, plus or minus a little bit, 36 and a half that is. So let's go up to the front. We'll measure this side, and we're on the passenger side, of course. Same thing, gonna measure right up to there, and you see it's right about 36 and a half or so. Again, give or take a little bit. Let's go back to the rear. Might as well check all four corners, right? Let's make sure we're still the same. And I didn't do anything in the back, it's still stock. Now that is a little bit off. You can see it's a little bit lower. Uh, than 36 and a half, and that's probably because it's full of gas. Now, let's check the front. This is the driver's side, and it is right about 36 and a half, maybe just a hair bit lower. Now, one thing I do want to make a comment on, yes, there is a little bit of a lean when it's full of gas, but you can see it's not huge. A few eighths, a couple sixteenths, something like that, so not a big deal. Now, what did that tell me? Well, first of all, it's still pretty much what it was before. If it has dropped any at all, it's been very minimal. You know, an eighth inch, something like that maybe, maybe even, uh, maybe even a quarter. But even so, that shouldn't be enough to cause me any kind of an issue. Now, let's grab the screwdriver, or the, the screwdriver. How about a light? And let's take a look. We're gonna look inside the fender well of the passenger side first, see if we see any evidence of rub. And I know there is on the driver's side. But we'll start here in the back. You guys can see it still looks all nice and uniformly dirty. And I've left it dirty because if there was a rub, you'd be able to see a clean spot, right? So nothing in the back. Let's move over to the front. Let's get some light on here. Um, I don't really see anything there. It, there could be a little bit right there. Nah, I was thinking right here in the corner, but no, I don't see any evidence of any kind of a rub over here and certainly nothing on the tire itself. Now, let's check out the driver's side because indeed I know this is where the rub is. I've looked. So let's check the back first. I didn't look so closely back here. But let's take a look. Um, I don't really see any evidence of anything here. Kind of looking through the camera with you guys. Uh, it would be right along this area, I think, and I'm not seeing any evidence there, so that's good. But let's turn you around and let's take a look in the front because this is where the problem is. You can see it right here. If you look right here, and I know the light's probably gonna wash it out, but you can see a clean spot right here. And I can even see just the slightest little bit of uh, abrasion, if you will, on the lip itself right along here. Although I can't feel anything. So maybe it's just the way the dirt looks. Let's take another look at that. 
yeah, it's not really torn up, uh, which is good. That means I don't have any kind of a substantial rub. Matter of fact, it's pretty darn minimal looking at it. Uh, there's a couple things I could do. One, I could trim this little edge under here. I don't know that that's necessary. I don't think I'm hitting there. I don't see any evidence really there at all. Um, I could heat this up a little bit and kind of push it in. Um, it doesn't take much. I mean, it looks to me like that's the only spot. I don't really see anywhere else in here, not even on the corner here, uh, where it's rubbing at all. Just right there where you can see, and of course I've cleaned it up a little bit more now with my finger, but that's it. Now, I'm gonna get in, start the truck up. I'm gonna turn it full crank and we'll see what happens. Okay, I've got it turned and it's actually not full crank. It's actually out just a little bit because this is the point where you can see it's gonna rub and that is where it's rubbing, right across the face of this part here that comes down that sticks out a little bit. It's too bad if this were just flat or flush, wouldn't be a, a problem at all. Now, as far as my finger goes, I can't stick my finger in there, just the tip of my finger, that's it. Uh, so it is relatively close. Um, that's the problem. And the problem is, is when the truck articulates. In other words, when I pull out of the driveway or turn and go up some kind of a deep bump or divot and the truck body is kind of rolling a little bit, or the wheel is articulating a little bit, it points in and comes far enough in, I guess, that it actually contacts this point. Um, it is not far off. Uh, it's not something that I'm hugely concerned about. Uh, now, if I was out bouncing around, running through trails or something like that, uh, it could be a problem. It could actually uh, do more damage inside here other than just rubbing a little bit. And that's all it's doing now. It's not tearing anything up. However, if I was going in reverse backwards and the tread was grabbing as it was coming around versus just riding the edge, it's possible it could grab this edge with a severe enough dip and actually do some damage, something that I don't want. So I think for me, since it is marginal at best, I think I'm going to go ahead and heat this up a little bit. I might actually trim this little nub right here. It's just a little area where a bolt actually connects underneath, but I've, I could kind of file this off just a little bit right here or even cut it off a little bit. Um, just to get it out of the way and then heat this up a tad and push it in just a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit it with a heat gun uh, after I trim this little area because you can see right here, if the tire were turned just a little bit more, it is pretty close to this little nub area right here. So we're going to try that. I'll come back on and I'll show you the result. All right, the damage is done. I hope there's no damage. There shouldn't be. It's just the inner fender liner, if you will. But I did make some progress. Whether it'll be enough or not, I don't know. But take a look. Right here is what I worked on. Uh, I did push this in a little bit, kind of formed or reformed the plastic. Um, you can see now, I can fit my finger in there. Um, <laughs> that's much better than before. Uh, it's still not a ton of clearance. It's probably about, yeah, maybe half an inch if I had it turned full. I mean, with this little nub right here, right up against the edge, but tried to get it in the same place as before and definitely have more clearance now than what I had. Uh, the other issue down here is right here on the corner. You might be able to see that little nub sticking out right there. That's actually a little clip, if you will, threaded clip that goes over the fender and connects to the inner fender, if you will, to kind of keep everything all buttoned up right here. Um, if that becomes a problem, I'll probably replace this with a, a different style or maybe sand off the edge of this a little bit, something like that. But we're dealing with uh, the minute here. I mean, if I have a problem that's that thin, I don't know if it's even worth taking care of. I could sand just a little bit right here off the edge, and I may do that yet, I'm not sure, just to give me that little nth extra of clearance right there. We shall see. But hopefully that takes care of the problem. And you know, this goes back to the old adage that you really need an inch. Um, you need an inch between 
everything in here, I think at least, maybe even an inch and a half, to make sure that you've got good clearance when the truck articulates and moves around. Obviously, I don't have that there. I didn't have it before, although better than it is now. Anyway, that's my quick O fix. Hopefully that solved the problem. We shall see. Uh, no damage really was done. You'd never know I did anything looking at it, honestly. It's not so severe that I think the naked eye or the untrained eye would even notice. So we'll see going forward. I will have an update down the road to let you know if anything uh, bad happens. I do have plans to lift the truck a little bit higher than it is now, and I think uh, if I did that, I'd be okay. I don't think there'd be any problem. Another inch or so, and uh, that gap really opens up. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you, uh, what you think. I can't believe that I've developed a rub on the Tacoma, and there's no reason why. Maybe I just didn't notice it before, and I checked it. I never saw any clean areas or rubbed areas there, so who knows? Maybe it was just the right day. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator, and Rob Motive Rides, currently about my new, to me, Mercedes. Going to be lots of mods coming on that thing. Things I've never done before. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay rub-free out there. Bye.